It's Louise. This is Sam. Two crazy Latinos. And we are live. And here we go, everybody. Welcome to episode three of Two Crazy Latinos. This is Sam El Cartel. Luis Hernandez and our, our amazing guests that we have here tonight, Jackie Nova and Richard Ryan, stars of um, the uh, Amazon Prime movie, Art of Deception. Uh, yes. Thank you guys for being on the show tonight. How are you guys? We are good. We are good. Thank you for having us. And can I just say that cartoon in the beginning of you two is freaking epic. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That was uh, was a good cartoon. It's like a show. show. We were like so entertained. We we're like, oh, are we watching a cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, what's going on with you guys? Let's uh, let let's get right into it. Um, first of all, let me tell you, I loved your movie. I I was watching it. Um, I really, I really, really got into it. Um. Tell me, just let, let's go into a little bit about um, about both of your backgrounds and, and how you both got started in the industry. Okay. Uh, well, I started back out in New York. So I'm a New Yorker. Soy Latina. Soy Dominicana. I mean, my my mom took me to her cousin's concert, Belkico Obsesión y Las Chicas del Can. And ever since then, and she pulled me up on stage, I was like in love. And I knew I had a I had to do a, you know, entertainment business, like singing, dancing, uh, comedy, all that. And, and that's how I fell in love with everything. And then I took classes upon classes. And then my agent was like, you need to be in LA. And then I came to LA and then I met Richard. And then we, we were brainstorming and we were like, we need to make a movie. We started with a short film ruse and then we went on to art of deception. Mm -hmm. And that's how it happened. And Richard has got like a really interesting story because he came out right out of high school and he just started making like a gazillion movies. So go ahead, tell them. Yeah. Tell them about that. Well, first off, thank you very much for having us on. I really appreciate that. And um, I'll, ju I'll just parlay into the, uh, I'm, I'm, I assume that you're going to ask me the same question, how I got my start. Um, mm -hmm. ar around. I have a big background on, on just being creative as well as athletics in around like 10 or 11. I dabbled in theater in high school. I got more into theater and after doing some, some, um, some plays in front of the school, one of the teachers said, Hey, this is what you need to do. Um, she realized <laughs> I had some potential. So um, I pursued it and uh, continued getting more involved in theater as, um, and then college, um, branched off into theater and film and uh, pretty much right out of high school I ventured down to Los Angeles from Northern California took the six hour drive not as long as a trip from New York to LA <laughs> no, I <was> <laughs> well I, I drove in the car I think Jack well Jackie actually did cross country <laughs> I did. too I did drive um, wow. that, that's actually a really good adventure but uh, but yeah I, I, I came down here and um and um, I, I booked uh, a, a role. Um, it, it never, the movie unfortunately never saw the light of day. Uh, a couple months into it, well, that role I auditioned for in, in, at the Paramount Studios. And then uh, I think at that point I really was inspired because so many people are, were around me. Well, a few were creating and making movies and I, I wanted to, um, continue my creative path so I, I just started making my own movies and uh just learned more as i went along and acquired more uh, relationships that way and more of a team and um yeah like jackie was saying my third feature film art deception the one yeah. that jackie and i um it's now selling worldwide and it's available on, on the amazon prime video yeah. um yes yeah, so i i before that i made two other features and 14 short films which mm -hmm. in january I'm going to do a, a, um, a marketing campaign for Ox Films to uh, to showcase all of the films once and for all. Yeah, and you can go to oxfilms.us. You can see okay. all the body of work. Richard's Instagram is Richard Ryan 7 but he is the CEO of Ox Films Entertainment. 
and you can see mine, Jackie Nova Seven. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, <laughs> and, and then the Ox Films, it just I, I want I, I the reason behind a nationwide campaign is because mm -hmm. to get even more exposure. Yeah. And um, but um, we're in development of a couple films right now, a couple larger films. And right now, Jackie and I are shooting. Um, it's, it's a movie called The Ninth Raider. It's sort of like Mad Max mm -hmm. um, with the spaghetti western vibe. And uh, Dallas right. Santana is the director of that. And that should be released in about February and March. So we're very excited about that. Yeah, that's really mm -hmm. exciting. That's yes. exciting. Awesome. Super exciting because it's uh, Dallas is the bomb. Yeah, and he's got the cutest little Pomeranian that I'm in love with. And for Christmas, I don't know. I hope it's under my tree. <laughs> <laughs> I say it. <laughs> it's <laughs> Her name is Marshmallow. Marshmallow, and she is on Instagram. I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's Marshmallow Wow or something, if it's you so, want to follow him. But, it's so cute. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that's Dallas and Santana's dog, and that's the the, the movie Ninth Raiders. He's the director. Our mascot. Yeah, slash, our mascot. Uh, yes. Slash executive producer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, you. So, so the dog has a lot of say in the movie, apparently. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay, all right, just want to show. You're out of it. <laughs> 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 taking over, I'm telling you. He so has fired. The the operation. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> does he talk or does he bark at you guys? Like, you know, what is he doing? It's so friendly. <laughs> it's friendly. <laughs> when I told Dallas, our, the director, I said, look, it's such a cute dog, but behind the scenes, he's just probably – Barking right. up a storm she, back there. Just <laughs> Dallas is a sweetheart. By the she way. has her own trailer. He's a great director. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. So I got oh. I got a, a, another question to, to throw at you guys since we're going into the talking about the new movie. What what drove? I mean, obviously Jackie Jackie answered that question in regards to the inspiration and stuff like that. But what keeps you motivated? Like like what you know? Is it is it visionary? Is it is it just a the, the, the depth of your passion, because obviously, Richard, you have an amazing passion. Jackie, yours is, is just as big as his, as I can see that. Like, like what drives you guys at, at the end of the day? At the end of the day, I mean, for me, especially for me, I know that it's just, I love everything about this business. Like everything. I love all the aspects of this business, especially transforming and becoming another character. That's truly like, it, it, I just love it so much that, that it's okay. Like if, you know, if your agent doesn't call you in as much, you have to hustle and you have to create your own things. The, really that inspires both of us. Cause we're like, okay, well, I mean, we're not going to wait around. We're going to make things happen for us. Yeah. That's like how we feel about it. And you know, you could put it in your own words. Absolutely. The passion just grows and grows because, uh, I, as, as well as Jackie, I mean, since, I don't know, uh, since as long as I can remember, I've always had a vision and I understood my potential and um, just always wanting to grow and learn and evolve every single day as a person and as an artist and, um, yeah. and, and, and just do more and more of what we love and what I love and, and, and the projects and also uh, offer opportunities to others as well. Yeah. It's and, exciting. Uh, it's very, that's very, um, yeah, it's very inspiring for us. And also to see yeah. other artists do great things as well, that's very inspiring also, because mm -hmm. um, well, we're all doing great things and, and we all wanna uh, climb up the ladder and continue yeah. doing what we love on, on more of a larger scale. And that's, that's keeping us growing and yeah. evolving yeah, yeah. and being the best that we can be. Yeah, we just we, awesome. we, love what we do. We yeah. love what we do. I can do it. We listen. We we love it so much. We could. We've been on set like a whole day, and everyone else is like, <sighs> and we're just like, okay, one more coffee, and let's just keep going. And they're just like, okay, yeah. there's rules. You need to like wrap and go home and refresh. <laughs> yeah, <I'm, laughs> we're like sure. obsessed over this. We love being on set. We also, also, it's like a it's a way of living for myself because. 
since I was a little munchkin, I, I just mm -hmm. I've always had had a had a creative thing about me where I've had to always create in, in my and keep active and keep going and whether it be like little games with cars or um <laughs> with paper you crumble it with the ball you know like table football or handball golf or always with, creating uh, foot, <laughs> that's awesome playing football <laughs> with uh, the classmates in between re recess we, I, I would i would split the team and split the class in half you guys are that position. You guys are that position. So I've just always been creative and building teams my whole entire life. It's it, um, and, and just the passion always grows because we we always want to just work more and more and more. And um, we do, we love working in this industry. We yeah. we love it. We love it. I, I mean, again, it, yeah. I love transforming into different characters. Like I want to be able to. That's why I got into this since I was so little. I was just like, but I want to be a doctor and I want to be a nurse and I want to be a lawyer and I want to be an engineer, but I can't go to school for all those things. Oh, I need to be an actor. Like that's what I need to be yeah. doing so I could be all those yeah, I'm, things. Yeah, I'm the same way, exactly. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then, then you ju just creating the, because uh, we love fitness too. Oh, and yeah, fitness course, goes yeah. hand in hand with, with the industry as well, because mm -hmm. it's a visual medium. But um, as well as what Jackie was saying, um, like I, I love as an actor transforming and, and completely embodying different characters and, and going there yeah. because because uh, as creative minds that I have and oh, that yeah. Jackie has, it's like we're always like curious of, of that person, that person, what, what this is like, what that's like. So with the particular role, we can go there and explore the depths of that character and bring it to life for the masses yeah. to see. And it's an amazing thing. And it's very uh, therapeutic too. And, and being able to share it with people, yes. with the ride and the journey with other life-minded like -minded, like individuals, and creative, awesome people. It's a beautiful thing. It is. It's yeah, very therapeutic. So when you're pissed <laughs> off and you're got a role where you gotta be like, bam, it's so real. It's so yeah, cool. I um, <laughs> it's so I, real. I recommend it because yeah. as primal beings, we 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 have to express ourselves and move our body and exercise and stuff. So yeah, um, whether painting, whether it be theater, whether it be movies, I love cooking, all these things that are express yourself. Yes, it's healthy and move, keep <laughs> the blood flowing. You know, that's awesome. That's so. Look how cool! There's like all these like. Things popping up, little. Oh, happy. that's cool. <laughs> so so it, it's funny. We got a uh, we got one of our, our uh, one of our uh, people joining us on the show or watching the show, and uh, our friend uh, Michelle Hernandez has a question. Uh, she asked, have, "Have you done any uh, or have considered doing Dancing with the Stars or any chance of music ah, yes, me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm so about this. I was every time I see Dancing with the Stars. Thank you for that question, Michelle. Love you. That's an amazing question. <laughs> when I watch the show, I'm like, oh my god, but I can move like that. I want to do Dancing with the Stars, and you know, he's always like, yeah, you need to be with this. No, she's great. She's a awesome dancer. He could totally do it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can do it. Yeah, he's like, what? Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, and, and Michelle is like, yes, Webber. Yes, Webber! Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. I will do it Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, even right, right now, Joanna's asking a question. She's um, She's asking, what are your upcoming events and shows? Okay, well, so like Ninth Raider is uh, is the movie that we're working on, so that's gonna be with Dallas with Santana. Santana, and you can follow it on Instagram too. It's called yeah. The but Ninth if, Raider. Yep, but if you have not seen yeah. Art of Deception, it's an action suspense thriller, See, and it's so it, kick you'll butt. It. Mm -hmm. You'll love it, and we're both in it. We were we both produced it. Yeah. He directed it, so yeah. And besides that, that, there's a couple things brewing. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to get a Netflix presents Ox Films collaboration. Yes. Um, and in and, and a larger uh, in, in a project also um, that deals with the military, yeah. the mob, and Shady mm. Wall Street. That's one of the projects I'm developing as well. And okay. An AI movie 
is in yes. development. We and have like a stack of scripts. Another Seal so movie that's being yeah. developed. So there's about five projects brewing right now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. nice. 2021 is yeah. going to be totally popping. And then look out for the, the major okay. for, for Ox Films, either January or February. You get the opportunity to see all the movies. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, and then that'll help us get the, the funding that we need for future projects because we we not only have the, the, the works completed track record, but the sales track record as well because it's all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> yeah, yep, not lying about that. Yep. Yeah, definitely. definitely not lying about that. So yeah. let's go into the movie. Let's go yeah. into Art of Deception. So where did the concept come from for the movie and 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 your creativity that came out in it and then i have a, another question to ask after that but i'll i'll, I'll wait which is the dream no, segment we were talking about because i really want to understand that completely yeah definitely yeah um basically the feature rooted from uh one of my short films it yeah. was lo loosely based on that well the treatment anyway and then uh myself and jackie after we shot our first short film um we were just like hey we're both let's do the feature powerful film. minds yeah. let's do the feature film our deception so i we uh we we took on michael marcelin who is is uh, it was a screenplay by michael marcelin story by me but um i collaborated with him on my two other feature films and then we we told uh mike what we're going for and then it just started to trans forming because then mm -hmm. we just kind of added a few different little ideas here and there and then it just yeah he, the script he, was done we were pumped yeah and richard started like uh setting it all up like okay we're gonna do these things this weekend out of the month and then that's how we just yeah to yeah it's a collaborative process like i mean they say the movie shot three times or maybe three times while shooting it I'm sorry, by <laughs> writing it, by shooting it, by editing it. But um, yeah, yeah. Michael put a lot of great words on, on the paper, then we did some rewrites here and there. But like Jackie was saying, yeah, we yeah. Uh, we honed in on, on the weekend because we didn't have a luxurious budget. Uh, we were sort of financing the thing as we went. Yeah. So, I mean, since the beginning of time for, since I've been making movies, like I've never had a luxurious budget. I've had to chop costs every which, yeah. Every step of the way, so so. So we, we're really good yeah. at that. Very Shopping good at it. That's good. Getting, getting yeah, good. and then this movie was a budget increase, so yeah, we honed in on one weekend. We shot one week at a month, so yeah. we could just really hone in just financially, just on those few days, and then we would edit it, and then we would repeat the process. So it took us two years, and then after yeah. two years, we had a rough cut, and then mm -hmm. at that point, we did some reshoots. We we did the post audio. We did the color grading, some visual effects, um, a, a couple of screenings, and then we said, "Hey, this is done." And then we had a really great screening at Sony Pictures, oh, yeah. and then from there we had um, all the landmark region theater we, in Westwood. We, yeah, we had a that was our screening. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the live. Oh, nice. That was lovely. So awesome. But when he yeah, told so that was me. Like the actual release. It was be great. Before all that, and like it got released, and it, Richard tells me, so we're reshooting the snow scene. Now, mind you, the snow scene. Oh, so yeah, that's one of your questions. <laughs> we yeah. did it first in the studio. <laughs> yeah. We literally did it first in the studio, and it was like a whole thing, fake snow, because Tarantino gets his snow from this snow place. What was it called, snow what? Snow business. No business in the valley. Okay. And then I'm like, are you kidding me? You know how much like we spent on that one day? He's just like, no, we're gonna go to Tahoe. And I'm going, ew, because no me gusta el frío. I don't like the cold, you know what I mean? That's why I left New York too. Yeah. <laughs> like he's like, we're going to Tahoe, there's gonna be snow, and this is when we're doing it. So I said, All right, you know what? I, you know, I trust your vision. Let's go. We did it. We let it was amazing. When I tell you that the snow scene, Richard predicted it. He said, the snow scene, I promise you, Jackie, you're not gonna freeze. Cause I had to like, I had to have a wedding dress on. So I had to like mm -hmm. try through the snow, put on the dress. I had thermals underneath. It was perfect out. And he's like, and you know, the next day, and I'm like, what do you think? You're like the God of like 
weather or something and he's just like <laughs> I'm telling you, the next day it's going to be very like dreary and dark because I'm a doc. It's like what I want for like when I'm walking the doc. And I'm like, well, good luck. I hope it's dreary and dark that day because it was super <laughs> perfect for the snow the first day. And it all happened exactly like you said. Yeah. Un brujo, un brujo. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're locked and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... It's happened like that several occasions, actually. I mean, yeah. in, in, in like different. There's, I mean, it will, definitely in the independent world, you have to have this unknown force behind you. Um, yeah. And uh, for sure, it came to work out, with, given the different challenges that were along, was along the way. But yeah, the dream <laughs> sequence, like as Jackie was saying, I, I that was actually literally the first scene that I envisioned before. The the, the, mo whole movie. the the movie materialized because um mm -hmm. I you kept I, talking about this dream sequence. I'm like, what about the rest of the movie? It's like the dream sequence sold me on like, let's do this feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so the dream sequence. It, I always I love dream sequences because like it, it's a dream sequence and it's fun. Mm -hmm. It does you you can take it a whole different direction and um, I actually visualize exact like. The way that it looks now, three out like three years before, um, yeah. But but uh, the reason, as Jackie was saying, that we rent we we rented a uh, a studio and got fake snow and yeah. then put the chicken wire down. We shot that scene with a couple of other scenes that we had to shoot. But the reason why. I was thinking about the fake snow was because I was just like it just wasn't snowing. I said, <laughs> I, said I said we need to wrap this up, this movie. And yeah. and and like Jackie was saying, it wasn't snowing. Like I'm from Northern California, from Tahoe. I've been going up there my whole entire life. I'm um, mm -hmm. from Sacramento area. Um okay. yeah, Elder Hills to be exact. So but every year with that clockwork, just fluffy snow. And then just yeah. for these few years. It was a of drought. Shooting. It just was, there was no, no snow. snow up there. Yeah, and then the produ and then the production just kept on going. Um, well, and, but, uh, but as quick, it does. quick fact: we were supposed to already have the screening at Sony that was planned, and he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but there's snow, so we're gonna do this shot, <laughs> and we're gonna like edit, and then I'm going, ah, "Yeah, what?" Yeah. I was like, "That's too close to the screening. What are you nuts?" He's like, "We're doing it." Yes, like, right, so, so it. it did snow, and then mm -hmm. um, a, a, a month it was just it just dumped snow. So I was like, "All right, this is it." Yeah, and then we, advantage. yeah, we got up there, and then um, the the first two days it was sunshine, and then which is what we need. Um, and then, well, actually, on the second, and, and then the on the day. on the third day, yeah. then uh, we got some shots where we left off, and then the storm was coming in. So that's when we we all drove about. Half an hour around the bend to on pretty much on the other side of the lake. Very narrow as the road. snow was coming in, Very as dangerous. the, the, the uh, storm was coming <laughs> in, and we got out there. We run and gunned. Um, the news on the radio it. as we're going to the location is like, Everyone go home, stay home, big storm, blah blah blah. And he's like, Now we're going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you see if you see it like it's the, the, the if you watch the movie it's this crystal skies and then you got the storm coming in mm -hmm. and that yes. dog was the second time <laughs> we shot that because the first time it was just like no snow it, it was like it was it was completely sunshine yeah. um, it was like all about the snow and all it's something all about this dream freaking yeah, sequence something wasn't working. There. <laughs> to go back up there get some more camera movement going on and uh and luckily there was a bunch of there was a snow within the the stormy weather come started coming on we were out there in the dock scene for like an hour and a half and it was it was rainy i was pulling out the shots you know out of my pocket we got shots one at a time <laughs> umbrellas freezing i was like oh my god and yeah it was a freaking awesome time but it was all but worth we got it, it. And then we put the great score to it. Um, a highly talented uh, uh, composer from Italy, his name is Simone Cilio. He put the score to it. And the sound design from Patrick Girardi over at 
virtual mix. Virtual mix. Extraordinary. He, he mixed all the elements together. And what we got to see and what you see today. Yeah. We have it, found some really, team effort. really amazing people that are part of the team, like from all over the world. Like literally, all like Egypt, visual yeah. effects. Mm -hmm. He just worked with us, and Richard found him because he would just keep Craigslist, Craigslist, Craigslist. Like I'm looking for da 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 da. Because you know some LA people will charge like some crazy amount. Yeah. And so that's how we. It's LA. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, sometimes. And we've had meetings with different people in studios yeah. and this man, and we're just like, "What? How much are you charging?" I'm like, "Because the Egypt guy is like practically giving it away." I'm like, this "Yeah, is, our, our this guy is something in, wrong in Egypt." You know, so for Sean. people that want to make movies, listen, you can do it on a budget. You just have to be really savvy about it. Well, there's a lot of tremendous talent all over the world, and in our. our uh, Guy from mm -hmm. Egypt, a visual effects artist, highly talented. His name is um, Mohammed Shawarf. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm butchering his last name. I'm sure. But I, I've been working with him for the last <laughs> couple of years, and um, I'm going to continue working with him. And, uh, and, and that's what it's all about just, just getting these relationships. And what's so awesome about our technological advances now is we can, you can collaborate, anybody can collaborate and talk shop and, 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 and work with people from all across the world. You've never even met with them in person, yeah. but um, but there's 7.8 billion people out there, a lot of talent. A lot and, of talent. And, and if you have a budget, you, you just, I mean, multiple sources, like Jackie was saying, like Craigslist, maybe you know somebody that knows somebody. Yeah, like half our cast too, is because we knew Craigslist, some of the actors. And you know, like, it is, you know? those actors are now like, either series regulars on certain shows, or we keep watching things and we're like, oh my God, so and so oh my god there he goes and yeah. there she goes and we're like oh this is so cool like watching people oh yeah for home. sure it's great seeing people that um that yeah. you you uh you started out with and yeah. then you know you know you're in the right direction when mm -hmm. that happens and uh yeah so oh our our, our cinematographer vishal Solanki. he's amazing he's amazing yeah and, from and india it, i, I put out an ad on Facebook and then somebody <laughs> recommended them and then we met and I'm like, okay, your vision is great. Yep. And then uh, our lead bad guy from, oh, Leon is from, Leon Amsterdam. from Amsterdam. I met him through Facebook and then I auditioned him. And <laughs> there we so go. Cool. And, uh, it's so it's cool. Awesome. There's a lot that of different awesome. And, and then we, we, we put our, a lot of our cast came from LA casting. We, we put out, oh, I don't know, LA casting and auditions, yeah. several people. And then they do I projects and they're like, hey, we want you in our project. So it's like, you know, we're all like, you know, working sure. with each other. You hope so. You, you hope yeah. so because some don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, those who return the favor, that's what, that's how good relationships happen. And yeah. you have a. Absolutely. Last forever. But, yes, uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we love creating opportunities just. Not yeah, it's not like just return. for us. We love the but, arts. And yeah, you just have to play your part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, because people love other people that create opportunities, and it, it keeps everything moving and flowing, circulating. Sure, definitely, it just keeps it free flowing going. You know, in regards to it. So yeah, Hell yeah, that's right. That's right. That's how some people actually have been finding us now, and they're booking us to do shows or their shorts, their or being part of their feature. So it really has been, Art of Deception has been like a great platform because there's just people reaching out to us now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean like I yeah, got to play true. Kamala Harris and yeah. I didn't you know, think anything of it, but then yeah. like, that's out there now. Yeah, and then Richard. I could see you doing that actually. I could actually see you in camera. I really, really can. That yeah, I, I produced and directed it. And, and, and but that's not how it worked out, people. So that you know, it's not like Richard was like, You're gonna play Kamala Harris, and then oh, like, yeah. I'm gonna direct it. No, it's like Mike Flood found me, who's the writer of who's of the writer the project, booked me on it. He saw our movie and he was just like. Okay, I, I need Richard that. to direct it. And then he's on a budget, so. So know, that's man. how that happened. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Jackie did extensive research on Kamala Harris. She really, she really got her uh, her mannerisms down, and 
and we created a song for it. If you're if you wondering what the heck that big old piece of wood is back there, yeah, probably, I was looking at that. <laughs> it's a sound booth. So for a week, okay. for a week during this time of the pandemic, I had some time. So I, I I found a build on YouTube and I followed it. I got all the lumber and acoustic foam board paneling yeah. and put it together. <laughs> but uh, okay. Well, we, that's a that's a vocal booth. So we got yeah, in there and, and we created a song for the movie that we're talking, which is called Target Battle Your Ground Target State. Battleground State. Yeah. So so it's on our Instagrams. Yeah. It's on our Instagrams. It's on YouTube. We created a song for it, it though. Then we created yeah. a music video for the song that we did. So yeah, it, it's really cool that. We were able to take the movie, but also we brainstormed and branched off into a song and a music video. Oh, it's so much fun. That's what I'm saying. Like, we love creating. Like, we just yeah. love it. We just love it. I swear, we wake up and we're, sometimes we're just like, oh, my God, we're going to have to do that. And then we're like, okay, brainstorm. And then maybe, like, a few days later or maybe a week. It doesn't happen sometimes instantly because sometimes we have auditions. And yeah. then like we'll get called in. Like I had a fitting today for another show that I can't really talk about. Then we have to be on set next week for another show that's gonna be on Netflix, but we can't talk about that either. But you know how like it's so weird. You can't even talk about certain things that are in the future fully until like it's like everyone's sure. like, Yes, you can talk about it. And then it's like, and I'm like, Oh, that's kind of bizarre. It's changed. It wasn't like that like many years ago. But Absolutely. it is but we're just happy we're working and yeah. doing stuff. And yes, yeah, so I think because with all the the cell phones and stuff, there's there's I I, I was told like yeah like you, you want to keep things on the wraps because of cell phones and all that stuff and and, and and a lot of spoilers right. So there's an audience that that doesn't want to know what's happening for. The yeah, so this is our sorry. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm the hey, That's okay. The cat deserves some airtime too. <laughs> <laughs> he gets me editing all the time. He gets oh, yeah. he gets up right next to me. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do some laps. He'll, he'll in the pool. He'll go out there and keep us company and stuff. Oh yeah. He's he a great personality with cat. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, but everybody on set, like, like, don't take pictures, don't put it on Instagram, don't. Yeah, it's very secretive nowadays. Either. It's not that we don't want to, you yeah. know, because you guys are filming. Well, it's like, a little more secretive you know. too because you you don't want to you don't want to ruin it for the audience. Yeah. You, you don't want to drop a bunch of spoilers and stuff. You want it to uh, everybody who's making the the movie or the television show or the music video or, or yeah. whatever it, it needs. It, there it's needs to be a surprise, and, yeah. and 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 the people who are watching it give them the opportunity to to not have a spoil for for yeah, them. Yeah, you can't have a spoil with the picture, sure. or something like that, because they want to see it. Yeah, in, in real time and be surprised and be fully. You cannot spoil it mm -hmm. for the people. You know what? You know what? We're gonna dance salsa and merengue, like literally, like. One there you go. Listen, well, it's, people cannot say they're bored because that drives me freaking nuts. I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> it drives me nuts. If they say they're bored. I'm like, put some music and dance. Yeah. <laughs> That's an opportunity. Yeah. And you if go. you don't have to dance, nobody can see you anyway. So you just like, bah, bah, ba -ka -ta -ka -ta -ta. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> All right, baby. There you go. <laughs> I just there shake him up sometimes. Like a crazy Latina. You know, you two are look good. too crazy Latina. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was was fun when I saw the the virtual things that two crazy Latinas before I met you guys. Um, I, I, was, I, I thought you, I thought it was because of me and Jack, two crazy Latinas. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much Latino. I mean, I have an eighth Portuguese in me, so I was like, you didn't there you go. There you go. <laughs> The, the the true crazy Latinos. Yes, I was like, we're talking about in this world. Trust me. Miss <laughs> Sammy So I got a question for you, um, Richard. Have you ever like really planned to do any horror movies? Like really go into 
a mixture of the old school uh, thrasher movies and like ghost style movies? Yeah, well, my my second feature film actually that I'm in the process of remastering and I'm going to re-release it in in January or February at the latest. It's called, it's called Natural Demise. Um, Gory. That was a feature. That's a feature film, but I went into it because I wanted to make it a thrasher, and I I just wanted to give myself a small part. I didn't want to play the lead because I I just wanted to uh, f from like completely embody the, the the role of the director and uh have i remember saying like i want to be creative with the, with the blood and really give them blood <laughs> so there was a there, super bloody <laughs> but, but before that even my first short film actually what was what was as well it was pretty bloody but but the, his uh, parents were getting concerned well the, <laughs> that way. okay <laughs> they're like Ew, what is all this shit you're doing? <laughs> they saw it and, and uh but yeah they're never concerned. They know I they, they know I can concerned. I can separate the art <laughs> cool, 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 cool. No. <laughs> But um but, but yeah, I, I actually I don't wanna I was gonna say something, I don't wanna give it away. Um mm -hmm. but there was a scene though I shot at, at my mom's house and and, and there was blood like we use curo syrup, it's not real blood, but um, it was on. It's still next to the house, by the way. After like eight years later, it's he's by like the a house pro blood maker. Yeah. yeah. Well, at this point, I am too. At that blood. point, though, I brought a special <laughs> effects artist on. Um, her name is Paula Bakley, I think. I don't know. It was a while ago, but but she was awesome in the. But that's the thing with horror films. But to answer your question, it was like. 70s 80s 90s thrasher um but i see a lot of horror films and, and guys like mm. it could go it could go comedic very easy if you don't like You're make right. the gore realistic you go you want to make the gore realistic yes and that mm. is one thing for sure richard is really great at he makes not only the gore realistic the fight scenes so realistic oh, yeah but to tell you the truth, because the fight seems like he actually practically punches the person, oh. and we have to control him it's sometimes because we're like, but like, but you have, you have he gets so distance. close, he's really like kind of sort of nicking the person a little bit. Even with my scenes, I'm like really okay, look, it, and it's like oh. fifteen years of feeling. That's an actor. She's making me like you're not supposed to hit them. Are you good at what you do, or can you no, separate the no fifteen years of making? Five scenes. I only actually clocked somebody once, but I've got and made somebody bleed. <laughs> the right. camera. The camera made somebody bleed because like, the cameraman was pretty close. He's our the last. Oh my god! Oh my god! Nah, because you know, I mean, he knows what I'm saying too. Know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, let's not work with him again. They're like, I want people to work with me. No, know? they're gonna work with you. I'm just saying he's very realistic about doing what he does. But he yeah, just gets, you know, so trust me, those those mm -hmm. big blockbusters, they get really close. No, they do. They, they do. Get Brad Pitt in, in the in the, sure. uh, the movie um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, like they actually yeah. like sort of clocked each other. Yeah. Well, the Bruce Lee look alike, and you know. Yeah. Well, there. well, with like. Like great actors, like uh, like I, I know Paul Walker and um, God Rest His Soul, and a bunch of other actors, mm -hmm. like like real body punches. You no, know, you can get a bruise on the body punch, yeah. but on the face, you, you don't really want to bruise because, like, oh, wow. unless you're wearing a mask or something. But um, <laughs> but uh, but but with the boxing though, like like Mark Wahlberg training for the fighter, and um, along with Christian Bale and. Mm -hmm. Um, Christian Bell was in it too, but like Mark Wahlberg, he was just like, I don't want to train with anybody unless we take real face punches. And with the gloves, no, but that's you, what you, I'm you saying. That. You're you're like right there with those yeah. people. You're right there. Like you should be in a movie with Brad Pitt, Mark Wahlberg. Like you guys would be like, ha ha. And me, I'm right in a movie with Michelle right 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 Rodriguez because I will be like, ha ha. I'm yeah. ready for it. I am ready for it, baby. Yeah, I am true. ready. We we love the. We love the physicality of it. We um, love it. We love it. Like uh, just, just 
we love to feel what's going on, mm -hmm. like, like, like for real. And, and I know in our deception, Jackie did some awesome stunts and, uh, and, and her yeah, she got bruised up a little bit. We both got bloodied up here oh, and there. We, we got, yeah, we got. Our, 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 <laughs> but like, it, it's, but, but I edit also, I've been editing also all, all my movies moving forward. It's like, no, let me just delegate that. But, but sometimes yeah. I look at the editing and I'm looking at like some very skilled people, not like other people as well as myself. And I'm like throwing these punches. I don't know why like more people aren't hit because it's like instinctual, like you know yeah. how far the distance is. And I think that it comes with martial arts because I have yeah. a background in martial arts too, just just knowing your instrument and how far you mm -hmm. have. It's like, like this close. So close. I'm like, yeah. damn, that would have landed. That would have been bad. The, the Asian actor yeah, Daniel too, wow. that's in our movie. He he also did a lot of the choreography. Although Richard did oh, the yeah. choreography. Oh, he socked the me. shit out of me once. My first feature film, like, like <laughs> boom, straight to the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rub it, rub it. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna rub it. No, we're good. Let's keep going. No, they get rubbed. They get, I, they I love get the rubbed. Physical, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. these A-listers, like they get they get physical, physical. But it's just, I feel like it's more rewarding. It's more, it's more. It's well, you more want powerful. to make it believable. You know? Yeah. You, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. You want that realism. Hey, Jackie, should we, we want to be careful. I'm like, and then I'm the one that's like, no, let's go. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> all that, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that New Yorker in you. That's what that is right there. That's what that is. Yeah, rolled up. Yeah, just the other day, like, I got bloodied up on the Ninth Raider. Like, I like that. Like we're just walk, we're just doing the scene, and then one of our, our other actors, um, Daniel Curtis Lee, actually, he's yeah. in it. He, he was uh, he one of the leads. A major show. Netflix on, classified. On, yeah, Nickelodeon, yeah, Disney, classified. and stuff. But then there was a scene where all of a sudden, like he he, he was punching these tires. So I'm like, yeah. okay, well, let me punch the tire. But the tires, like it, <laughs> we we shot it up by the Salton Sea. So like there's like salt hour. everywhere, like minerals and sulfur and stuff. It was a really badass experience, right? But like <laughs> I go there, I sock the tire, and like of course I'm bleeding. I'm like, oh, get it though. Of course, there is a pandemic, it. so everyone's like, hey, back up. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like pouring stuff on him. You yeah, know? it's just it doesn't seem right. Yeah, a shoot's not official unless you you get some sort of war wound at the yeah. end of. <laughs> yep, yeah. Very true. <laughs> yeah, Richard needs to definitely one be, way or another. He needs to be casted in all those war movies. He's definitely military. Comes from military background. Yeah, my whole family's in military. Yeah. He is. And wherever we go, people are usually like, "Oh, are you Navy?" Or you like, you know, he just because he the way you know he just carries himself, and it's just definitely you can mm -hmm. tell it's from a military background. I put that word. It seems as if to, I, I put that word towards. Um, well, I put that mentality towards war. Yeah, towards the work on set, and it's very a set is obviously it's very creative mm -hmm. environment, but it's also very militant environment because you 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 want to get those shots in, you want to get the schedule in. Um, yeah, you don't want to go over budget and, and yeah, everything uh, is just structured. Just boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. But th that's why um, I, I think mm -hmm. make movies. There's just sort of. Uh, an element that's that's tough because you have this creative environment. Creative is outside the the, the lines and yeah. no rules and stuff. But then you have to put it within the structure of a militant type of way of, of business of like, hey, it's got to be done in this in this amount of time or this shot needs to be done in this amount of time. And but then I'm the one that's usually like, uh, that's enough. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. As he will do, he's a Tarantino. He will do like a million different shots, which yeah. is perfect and it's great. But then, you know, sometimes you got to have that person like, you have hey, to, yeah. I'll, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Like, believe me, you got it. You've checked the I've game. I've always had to keep You've that the in game. mind. It's all good. You got it. I've always had to keep that in mind because even, even before Jackie, well, um, our deception, like making movies eight years prior of that and yeah. it was more difficult um not having like sometimes always a jackie there too because like uh, uh, again like you, you i'm his angel creative. <laughs> 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 or his creative. sex <laughs> <laughs> like, 
put it all in there and um, and make it all work. But it's it's a team effort, though. Yeah. And uh, you, you got to – team effort. And everybody plays their position, and everybody knows their position. And, and um, I know I said militant, but everybody, you, you know, wants a, wants a smooth and fun – environment also and so we do workouts that's what we did before we we, we, we even begin like and good food yeah we literally are like okay Retreat. jumping jacks push-ups yeah he'll go overboard with the push-ups but you know everybody will do their best <laughs> so i got a question richard um i know i've studied i've studied um um the art of film and um actually i'm actually about to get my cinema uh Degree, my cinematography degree. I know uh, that's like a tongue twister. That's yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, in your the amount of years that you've done film, and you know, uh, made fe two features, and going forward, you I know you're gonna make more. Anyone else that is starting or thinking about doing film, what is the best thing that you could tell them? Um, um, do they need to go to school? Do they just need to practice or do both? What What is the best thing that you could tell, tell an upcoming person? The, the best thing I could say right now is if you have a vision, plan it out um, from A to Z. There's a lot of filmmakers, and I'm guilty of it myself, that that sort of just you know like like a, like a like a wild wild west cowboy just get in there and do it and and what you want to do but you want to have a plan throughout the whole process from a to z so so you you, you want to develop it properly you want to get the script right you you want to you want to develop it in and plan it in a way where the shooting is smooth and you get your shots and you have in mind what you're going to do with post-production and, and uh, like your sound, whether you do it yourself or you have somebody else do it, whether you do your color grading or somebody else do it, whether if you have visual effects, if you're going to do it or is somebody else going to do it, but keep this in mind throughout the whole process because knowing what you're going to do, how you're going to do it in post-production mm -hmm. before you even start shooting. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you aggravation. It's going to save you money. And, but to, to, yeah, to, to answer the make sure you plan it question as I mean, on top of him answering it the way he's answering it, Richard, Richard took classes. So like, I know it's really important to get in a class, but I feel like while you're taking a class, you know how like in the classes of, of filmmaking and, and, and actors and, and all that stuff in the entertainment field, you're also simultaneously working at it. So I would like, I, was, I would suggest to people like, and I tell this to a lot of people because they're like, well, how do I get started? I would say, get yourself on set is a perfect way to, watch others do it and you would suggest that too right like get on set but also yeah. take classes yeah I, because when you take yeah. classes you're 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 becoming part of a community of people that they're not going nowhere like look at spike lee like nyu mm -hmm. he made he made friends along the way and he he's still friends with all those people that he's made along the way and so it's like you build a community on top of a community and so it just it's wild yeah like uh, i always took act, i've always been a part of acting classes and um when i first moved down to la though as, as far as I, I i didn't go to film school um five years after making my own movies i went to the art institute in uh, sacramento for like th three classes i learned more of the fundamentals um but it's just some people yeah, like I, learn uh, a little different. Some people learn really great in class, but then some people are just like, that's it's true. not moving fast enough. So then they're like, I need to just do it. Yeah, that's true. If you're that person, then just do it. 
and get yourself on set, like as a side gig, like a second AD or something, right? And then just Absolutely. I know I'm not that person. I'd be sleeping in class. That's why I do my classes online now. So I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> what I was saying though is, is, is I learned a lot though from doing extra work and being on set and just learning how the cameraman what he does, what, what, right, oh, that's a gaffer, that oh, that's a grip, oh, that when I first started. So um, I was able to, like, like, well, yeah, like what like, I know well, well, and have the ability to do, I was refined a little more by seeing it done. At, like all the uh, etiquette in front of me. All the etiquettes yeah. of like what you're supposed to do and not to do. You can't be like wiling out on set. Just and the reason, yeah, the etiquette's important too, and the reasoning behind different angles and stuff. And and then when you start doing it yourself, you start like you start thinking through the process and in and the reasoning of like, oh, if I shoot this angle, if I shoot that angle, shoot that angle. Then you get on Crossing set. The lines yeah, and you get on set. You start learning little rules here and there, and and you when you edit it, like. Then you start like, oh, what if I do this different? What if I do that different? And, and then like in, in life, like a lot of times, like like everything will inspire you mm -hmm. because you're looking at things a little different. So like maybe you're maybe you're taking a drive or you're walking somewhere and you see a location or you see something and maybe you're inspired to to write a story revolving around that. Sure. Next thing you know, you're you're doing another project and. You're you're uh, you're working with more people, and then every time you work with people, you're learning from them as well. And then uh, yeah. it's just your your knowledge base is just going to grow and grow and grow, and organically, it's just going to um, you're you're just going to learn more and more and more. But yeah, just always you just, learn. Watch YouTube videos. Well, then you know, the importance of like getting yourself on set or even being in a class, even if it's an online class. Yeah, you really start making friends that are in the business either they've been in the business a long time yeah, networking is or huge, they're newer yeah. but then that person knows that person and who knows this person it's like when i first came out here my agent my one of my first agents his um one of his clients was dominique scorsese okay. i had zero idea that she was who she was. Like, I had no idea. Her dad's like Scorsese. I'm like, what? Like, I'm hanging out with this girl. And it was just, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you just like, you just don't know. Yeah. And you just cultivate friendships and 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 and, and it's all genuine and real. And, and then, you know, things just kind of like start happening as yeah. well like that. Sure. No, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And then along with you doing the creative process and it, it's just, and then finding these people through all these different outlets and being a part of a writer group or going to different red carpet premieres and, yeah. and, and just growing your database. I, I would highly recommend all the card business cards you get and this person you meet, that person you meet is like, well, like well that was like virtual cards because of COVID-19. Yeah. Big so, time, big time, which is, which is, Funny because um, there's a couple of questions I wanna I wanna grab, especially since you mentioned about the screenwriting. So um, one of one of our viewers, uh, Flavio, asked, "What are the best tools that um, you would recommend for screenwriting?" Final Cut Seven. Yeah, for sure, Final Cut Seven. And and then uh, also I noticed a lot of writers too, and, and this is an important element too. Um, SAG actually. Uh, has a no, no no WGA actually has the a, Writers Guild of America. Yep. Has a, a they have a lot of programs. Has a program. Has a program yeah. that that was started by Michael Tab. He's been a, a writer for a long time. Dear friends with us, but, which we met because of another. Yeah. So he filmmaker. started he started a program for the different writers of like. Um, to teach more of the business side of writing. It's like, okay, you have this script. Um, and how do you sell it? What do you it? do with it? Like, what do you do with it? Not only, like, that's an option. How do you mm -hmm. sell How do you sell it? But a lot of times, like, you sell, you sell to a script. You sell it. It's changed a lot of the times. It might not even be made. But it's like, as a writer, it's like, okay, how do you put that producer hat on and, and, make, and make it? How do you acquire the cinematographer? Sure. How do you acquire the actors? How do you uh, uh, acquire a gaffer, a grip, a whole team, a, a team of writers 
that you might mm -hmm. need um post production people and yeah and um, i was and i would suggest too besides the writers guild of america cuz you can look it up writers mm -hmm. guild of america and it'll give you a world of tools of like if you can't afford final draft there are a few other programs that are free and you can start right final draft did i say final cut final cuts edit final, final draft. draft final draft i think you said Sorry. final draft I no, think you did. so, but there's Final Cut for editing. There's Final yeah. Draft for Final <laughs> everything. Final draft, yeah. And and also keep keep. Oh, keep, okay, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. No, I was gonna say um, before I forget. Deadline Junkies. If you follow us and oh, you yeah, follow yeah. Deadline Junkies LA, Deadline Junkies, uh, they're a group of writers, and you can be part of the group as a writer, and you can. Um, when you're part of that group, it's like they do every Wednesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, and I think they might still have Tuesdays, but it's like they all rotate and they get actors like us to read their script 30 pages mm -hmm. only per three actors a night. And then cool. literally they get feedback from three, other three actors. Scripts three scripts a night, but it's only like 30 pages yeah. each. Yeah, and, and then yeah. the actors, it's like a table read. Yeah. Uh, read throughout the script, and then the writers make make um. They just get notes, notes. which is a great really, way to refine really your script and, yeah, great notes. And network. And, yeah, because a lot of these writers are actually they're writers that have written for television and yeah. still are writing for television, yeah. but they're always honing in on their skills like big time. I'll always write. If, if you want to be good at something, always do it every single day, a lot of hours every single day. But I did learn at Second City that when you're writing, if you at least write 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes, write something, write a journal, write something of your ideas, mm -hmm. then you get back to that. It's like really helpful for your, yeah. for your writing. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I recommend this highly to writers and then producers and directors and, um, and, and, and anybody. Keep, uh, as I was mentioning with the business cards briefly or mm -hmm. however you get you like contact information, create a database, create an Excel spreadsheet mm -hmm. of like, okay, these are writers, these are producers, these are directors. Because like, what's the sense of, of, of oh, getting all the some of this information, yeah. follow up, and then do another follow up. Because a lot of- Yeah, like don't be afraid to pick up the phone either. There's also right. another yeah, one, the creative the room, if you- so, so, so keep an Excel spreadsheet database and, mm -hmm. And, 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 and just contact them every once in a while and and uh, you, uh, oh I need a producer okay do we, right. you reach out to the producers or you have this going on you you want to reach out to these people to, to, to form of, of yeah and, but for the you know for the people that want to really write 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 like there's being part of the group of deadline junkies but there's also the creative mixer if you go on there you'll also see another opportunity for writers and not just actors and they like they really hone in on on your writing skills and okay. so there's just so many different programs and things that you can be a part yeah, of different groups and stuff yeah yeah it's two to three groups if you spread yourself too thin then you're like in a million groups then it's like you're gonna be like yeah. all over the place sure no yeah. absolutely I'm a, I'm a firm believer too to write all this stuff down, just like the the earlier answer um, when when going into a movie to tackle it. You want to write it all down to organize your thoughts so yeah. you don't feel overwhelmed or anything. Yeah. You write down your contacts, write down your plan, the, your your daily plan. plan like write it down everything. because if you don't write it down, I'm telling you because I am guilty of it. I write don't write before. something down and then I'm like, it's for the next day. I forgot oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I've like, oh. been there. How can I be so yeah. stupid? I'll, and I'll put right. it in my calendar on my phone or he puts it in, you know, he'll write it. He will not close out his night without like, he's like, all right, tomorrow. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'll sneak in and I'm like, tomorrow, you need to make sure you do this too. And I'll add in my phone <laughs> thing, you know? <laughs> I always, like to, I always like to close out my day. So closing out my day is, so is important. following up on all your emails or if you maybe don't have the answer to a particular email that you had earlier uh, or, or an answer to the question, mm -hmm. you say, hey, I I, I, got, mm -hmm. I received your email. Yeah, I'll, I'll get <laughs> back to you when I have the appropriate answer or whatever. But always give people that respect of, 
of giving him the, the acknowledgement. And, um, yeah. and then it's like two words. I will get back to you. I'll do yeah. that. Something, <laughs> something and, and I know they're in Colorado and they're like, did you read it yet? And we're like, oh my God, we've been so small. No, but we will this weekend. Like <laughs> something because I know that when it's done to us, we're like, oh my God, why? I know you just read it. Like, what did you? <laughs> yeah, and give yourself the, the same respect. Like, yeah. Also, like, make a list, and maybe be 20 or 30 minutes or however, 10 minutes you have to, you have to, mm -hmm. um, you have to think about it. But, like, just write down a list of all the things you're going to do the next day. So, so sure. when you, you go to bed at night, you program your mind, like, okay, this is what I need to do for the next day. I need to write. I need this. I need to call this person, call that person. You and then you, you have your Excel everywhere. spreadsheet so you know exactly where to go with that. But the next day, like, as soon as your eyes open, you have, you have a purpose. <laughs> you know you know what time you're going to wake up. You have a purpose. You're like, because, like, I have all this stuff to do, so I got to get on. You know, yeah. get your workouts in, get the endorsements going. Mm -hmm. And he will shove greens like constant, like I'm making more green shade. Spinach. <laughs> and I love that yeah, with the greens, but yeah, I love it. Oh, I, yeah. love it. I, I highly recommend. <laughs> like I'm a firm believer on nutrition too. Um, it, and, and it doesn't matter if you're a writer, producer, director, especially creative types. They're just people that want to get the the most out of life and mm -hmm. have these awesome ideas. It's really yeah, like good. what you put in your body and. and sure. Absolutely. Um, good, healthy, clean diet, and, and and like Jackie was saying, like we have a blender. But he can't resist un pastelito. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that pernil that I made over the weekend falls into that category either, so we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that pernil, Sam. Oh my god, did you see the picture of that pernil, Sam? Oh my god, I don't know. I need it. I need it. I I'll added. give you the recipe. I got you. I'll give oh, you the recipe. I haven't had it. <laughs> no, because like really, like when you're in California, you turn into like I was already a health nut, but like this is like now supreme beyond health nut. Like I mean, sometimes I try to sneak out because he's like, I've got your shake, and I'm going. Oh. I love it. But I'm like, I feel real. Can I get like actual food? Food. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. But as long as you have your spinach in there, I'm telling you, like take big, too big. Handfuls of spinach, <laughs> water, with some carrots, some a little a little bit of blueberries. You don't want too much sugar, but just a little bit of blueberries, a little bit of cranberries, a little bit of banana, even a scoop of peanut butter. But you have that twice a day, and it does, uh, does spruce but, you up. But with the greens constantly running through your body, like I'm, <laughs> like more than ever. You, you, I mean, try it out, like. You, you, your, your positivity, your efficiency, your productivity, your clarity will just go through the roof and you won't get sick nice. and you're preventative. That's it. It's the cure for coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is increase your immune system up as much as possible uh, so you can fight off whatever. And absolutely. then and plus like it, 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 it gets your, your well, organs you going more. Your, yes, you your brain starts thinking of a, of, of a different way, like not sweating the small stuff. You can, you can do it. You like go through challenges and handle them a lot better. And you're thinking like you, you have all this energy and excitement. So um, you're, you're having a lot of these great ideas. It's just uh, I love it's important. Food. Put good food in your body. Everybody. Put good food yeah. not by the sailor man. But I, I recommend that to writers. <laughs> Uh, teachers, whoever yes, you are, just yes. treat yourself right. Move your body. Move your body. I got, I got a question for you guys. Um, COVID. How has COVID affected you guys? Like, how has COVID affected the industry and 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 what you guys went through to create to make the movie? Like, like, how is that? How how is Hollywood adapting to that now? I guess is the question. Well, when you say the movie our reception, that that was done before COVID, but before okay. COVID, but. It's important to see the silver lining, and in, in like, oh, of course, COVID is is a, 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 has um, resulted into a lot of like bad things, you know. Well, I got I got to and, 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 and like prayers to anybody who has been affected and, and love to everybody. We we had, saw the silver lining. So in 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 so like I'm we, gonna we show you because 
first, let me just real quick. <laughs> okay. We've right. lost we've lost some family members to COVID. Wow. So we have overcome and just recently yet again someone in the family. But we are strong and what I tell people is to stay strong, stay positive. And that is something Richard has definitely done. And I'm gonna show you because Richard and I have been connecting with casting directors throughout the beginning of the pandemic because so many people panicked in the business because they shut things down like oh wick. You know what I mean? Like there was just yeah. no room for nothing. So go ahead, because you were you were talking about how like with COVID-19 and the casting directors on live Instagram, connecting with them, taking classes with them being part of classes online and creating zoom shows that we're a part of that we got to do because we're like totally safe at home or we went to set but it was like just four people just like with the kamala harris uh comedy sketch that richard got to direct that was also literally just him he was a one-man show the writer was like a gazillion feet away from us, barely even near it, like on the other side, and me and the other actress, and that was it. Yeah, it's good to keep the, the crews to a minimum and practice good uh, safety protocol because you, you want to continue working, but also- We've gotten probably like, I swear, how many COVID testings? because we've had to be on, on shows. Set. Yeah. And then also um, a lot and they were all negative. We've That's taken this opportunity right. and, and I encourage everybody because we have more time on our hands and, and especially if, if you're living in California, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting um, uh, just some financial relief and, and, and um, just some relief in several areas. And we have more time on our hands to at okay. one time, not do as much as we can now with the pandemic again there, there's more leniency there's there's a certain relief um and and we have an abundance of time to to do all the things that we normally didn't have time to do now we're doing them we are and we then are. moving forward more and, and that's on projects yeah. working on projects more time to think more brainstorm time to write and to um to execute on that uh, we, we writing got like jackie was saying the, the casting directors and i i know a lot of them are out of work uh, because this the show's shut down but hats off to all the casting directors created yes. amazing opportunities for actors doing and for them to keep it moving and finding um we were doing like monologues. Discover talent out there with audition monologues. We were doing monologues after monologues. It Constant. gave the opportunity for the actors to to get in the eyes, get get on the radar of these different casting directors, and have the opportunity. Like we built, like like casting directors of like Star Wars, casting directors All of, of yeah. Just like we're emailing Avatar. them, we're picking up the phone yeah. because like, hey, we're we're producers. What's your rate? You know, I just want to introduce myself to you, like whatever it is, like, and also yeah. like producers and directors and just emailing them, intro, intro, introducing ourselves to them. It seems like they have a lot more time on, on their hands to, and they want to connect. Yes, yeah, they, but they're being very gracious very with gracious. their time. Like they'll do live Instagrams. There are different agents and managers that'll do live Instagrams. They're just being really like, they're, they're letting us know what like, the big producers are thinking and what they're doing and they're like oh i think it's going to come back around this time so they 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 were off in the beginning because they thought it was going to come back right away i mean like i do stand-up comedy as well and like well there's no stand-up comedy really unless you're doing like drive-through like you know like stand-up comedy and people drive and then mm -hmm. they beep and mm -hmm. i'm like well i haven't done that i've seen some of my friends do it but mm -hmm. i'm like okay that's kind of like I haven't done that yet. It's interesting, mm -hmm. but we're like entering competitions. I entered a Netflix competition. It was for uh, Afro Latinas and nice. I didn't get in that one, but I was really close. There's Nosotros also for Latinos and uh, they have so many opportunities there as well. 
And so follow them, Nosotros, it's really great. It's with like Frankie Miranda, which is uh, um, Manu um, uh, Luis Manuel Miranda from In the mm -hmm. Heights. He's oh, incredible. Oh, Manuel, yeah, okay. Uh, just incredible. Yeah. And um, oh my gosh, so many casting directors just, just like, they'll DM us. Like they're just, they want to meet new actors. They want to communicate with actors that are filmmakers and just actors period. And it's just been, you know, I know that people are saying like, it's like, yes, it's been difficult, but I feel like us as actors and filmmakers, we're getting so much opportunity Yeah, it, it's, to connect personally, like on a more, yeah. you know, cause I think people are just being a little kinder and that's so good. Yeah, we sure, the world's changed completely. Not to cut you off, Richard. Um, everything for for you guys, it's it's different now. You yeah. know what I mean? And and it's different in the sense that people are now opening their eyes up and realizing that there's other talents out there. There's other people that are are passionate. What both of you guys are, you know, the, the, your your passions just are pouring out, just seeping out of your pores right now. To to tell you the truth, and it's amazing to hear that. And to sense that vibe and, and just to understand it and appreciate it so much. So I can only imagine, you know, for, for me, honestly, and just looking at it, and I think I think you guys will agree with me. Um, I think that COVID has really, really presented opportunities that probably two, three years ago you wouldn't have seen. You would have. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Absolutely I agree. agree with you. And uh, one, of the, one of the things I highly recommend too is is uh, you have more time on your hand too. Do a, do a great deal of that researching. And the, and writer, the writers, producers, yes. directors, different actors. Like if this is the business that you're in, like you want to know who all the casting directors are. You want to know. Like, or at least if it's not all, because there are hundreds, there's so many. Of all, them. all the top ones. The yeah. ones that you know you want to be a part of. Like if you want to be part of a show or a movie, if it's a certain genre, hone in on that. Because I, mm -hmm. I have like, there's like a top 10 where I'm like, okay, they do the type of shows that like, I know I'll be casted in. I know that it's like my vibe. I'm gonna hone in on that because if not, you'll turn yourself yeah. crazy. It's too many. Yeah, you can them. hone in on on them like Jackie's saying, but I, I would highly suggest to, to know everybody. We'll try to know that, of course. And, and, and like all, all, all the major casting directors, like the, all the shows that are in development, you um, that are contact the producer, contact the director. It's on IMDb. They're contact information. And there's a lot of casting directors. There's a lot of producers out there. There's a lot of directors yeah. out there. There's a lot of shows that are out there. So, so you, you, highly you, recommend you, IMDb. So Pro. that means you yeah. have, for yeah. sure get on IMDb Pro is is a great tool. And then there's Instagram too, a great way to connect. But but you have a lot of time on your hands. So research it like like constantly all they the time. They say too like I mean create a database, a little spreadsheet. Like okay, and that, connect right? the dots. Like okay, that person know that person, that person know that person, that person know that person. Like like just the other day, um, I had a guy who who I worked with 13 years ago contact me. He's the head of a stunt company now. His name's Brian McCoy. He has his own stunt company, and mm -hmm. um, I, I saw that he was was working on uh, uh well, what's that show called? Uh, you from Netflix? No, no, no. Oh. In fear of the. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know some show, but he, <laughs> but he worked with but he worked with the stunt coordinator that I'm also in contact with, and then I'm like, oh, I connected the dots, so I'm like, oh shoot, I want to put him to work, you know, whatever. Yeah. So like, hey, he, even your even high school people who you went to high school with, people who you went to college with, like people because you don't know who they married. People who you started out in the business <laughs> with, like, it's. It's so this business is human mm -hmm. relations, yeah, and it's like somebody who, like, like Jackie knows. You don't know if the rep, you don't know like your best friend since high school or like okay friend in college or whatever. They're working at CAA now. Put in a phone call. Like we're all just people, and 
And heck, we just built our studio, so we bought lights <laughs> during this time during the pandemic. We bought different colors of backdrops. Because there's a lot of auditions. What maybe yeah. right now again? Because there's some sort of a surge. Build your tools. Build your knowledge. And the yeah. holidays are coming, so <clears throat> things are kind of slowing down again. But like, there are auditions. Sometimes we have to stop everything. Mm -hmm. Because we're just like, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, but I said I was going to do that, but I can't do that because now like a C mail came in or something from LA casting and you have to set yourself up and you have to, you have to audition for it. Cause I mean, yeah. that's what you're, that's what you're here to do. Like, yeah, you know, of course. You know? Yeah, as you see this blue thing right over here, that's our, that's the backdrop, the blue backdrop that There's we have like six backdrops. lights over there. So, but <laughs> it, it makes you, you have to be ready too. actors. Be ready. <laughs> and it makes you better too because you're always doing it. You're always like, yeah, uh, uh, like uh, trial and error with the lights, with yeah. the audio, trying to get the best. Yeah, yeah so it's awesome. And being a class, be, I'm, I would say being a class. Yeah, like, being a class for yeah, sure. Like, I love Sherry Shaw, Sherry Shaw Studios. If you look her up, she's amazing. She coaches some pretty big deal people, like personally, but then she'll also. She has these classes and she's amazing. Mm -hmm. There's AFA Studios, there's CBSC Studios as well. You can just DM me and I'll give you the studios. Mm -hmm. Three that are my favorite. <laughs> and they're awesome. You know, you're obviously not going to take them all at the same time, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. AFA is good because like they, they teach more of the technical aspect in front of the camera, like little just... techniques and stuff, like yeah. you know, a little bit. Yeah. Or, uh, but like, just, just, uh, Aaron Spicer, when things open up, get with Aaron Spicer. He doesn't do online classes or anything because, like, because, he's, um, awesome. he's from the old school. Because it's like, it, it's that, it's the, it's the, in no, that energy, the in, in person energy. But mm -hmm. he, Aaron Spicer, he was my first acting. But he's down. busy on set with some big actors. So he's amazing, know. though. He, <laughs> the best light, the best acting teachers or life coaches because essentially it's like to be a great actor you you, you want to embody life and you're, you're playing the different characters the different circumstances mm -hmm. and just an expert in psychology and and he actually gave me he that connection yes, yeah the connection yes, yes. And, and like he's giving me tips and i know there's other great acting coaches out there like that too it's mm -hmm. like you, you get you get a tip but the tip that you practice you can practice and implement every single day and it will just mm -hmm. allow you to evolve as a person and an, an yeah. artist every single day. But that's why it's important to be in and classes. You give a bunch of great tips to that. Yeah. It's, 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 awesome. it's important because there's people that we, you know, like us that we take it like a whole nother level. And so if there's other people, cause there's opportunity for open calls. Mm -hmm. Like I just mm -hmm. auditioned for blind spotting. But this girl I know got the role, complete opposite to her and I. I'm so th I'm so happy she got it because you know when it's for you, it's for you. When it's not for you, it's not for you. And actors, remember, you gotta let it go. Like you gotta let it go. And this is like people with like Raphael and David Diggs. He was like part of a. Um, oh, he was. It, it's some musical, and I can't think of the freaking Hamilton. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, but it's blind spotting. Yeah, blind spotting. Blind, blind spotting came out when our movie, movie came out. Yeah. But then now they're having a really TV series movie. that they got picked up by stars, and I was so pumped. We stayed up till five in the morning, and I auditioned for this role, and as a series regular. But I didn't get it. But it's okay because like I'm in the mix. Yeah. You know what I mean. And that's just, that's what it's about. Like, if it's for you, if it's for you, if it's not, it's not. You and, that, and that casting director, if you do a really good job, you might not get that part, but yeah, because it's at least you. now you were able to um, present your work in front of this casting director and they'll keep you in mind possibly for something else that you're more suitable for. Yeah. But yeah, you just got to keep doing your thing. And, and, yeah, absolutely. And, and like a lot of times, like we just recently heard, um, uh, a lot of times the casting directors, they'll ask for like a hundred audition tapes and they'll only watch 20. To me, it's like, then why, why did you ask so much? Yeah, why'd you ask? That's how it is. But whatever. That's how it is. Whatever. The important thing is you're practicing, you're honing your craft, you're doing what you love. Yeah. And, and, and you're, you, you're putting it out there constantly. 
Yeah, an agent was yeah. doing a live Instagram and she was explaining to one of her actors, sorry, but they didn't get to see your tape. And I know because we've auditioned for some commercials during this pandemic and we're like, uh, you can download this. We've been spending a long time on this. But then, you know, your agent's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, they didn't get to it. And then we're like, what? Are you kidding me? But you can't get mad because yeah. it just is what it is. And sometimes there's just bigger agencies that have certain actors and they just go. It's just like a whole thing. You just got to like yeah. go with the flow. It, it, it wasn't, it wasn't your it says, not thing. Yeah. It's something sure. that will come your way that is your thing. And that's why actors create your own stuff. Create your own stuff. You're always acting. You're always, Big you're always time. About that. You're always putting stuff out yeah. there. Market it. Be, be creative with the, your marketing strategies and how do you get your work in front of people. And, and I know you guys are geniuses with all that marketing stuff. Hello. Right. Hello. <laughs> and they are filmmakers that you guys don't know. Yeah. We'll be collabing. Hello. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. I had a question for you, Jackie. Yeah. Have you ever thought about making your own comedy, like, talk show or, like, little, like, um, uh, comedy skits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the reason why we did the, um, why we did the comedy. Well, I mean, I got hired to do it, but it was just, yeah. like, I have on my YouTube, like, it's like five different characters. And so I have like these snippets of characters because I'll be, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get on SNL or Comedy Central because <laughs> I'll tell you, I love characters. I've got like a bunch of different wigs back there and a bunch of different stuff that I like to just pop up and create. I definitely do have a lot of characters. So that's just, and I tell my manager, my agent, I'm like, comedy is like, I love. I could just do that all day long. Like I love it so much. Yeah. Which I also entered, and I'm waiting to hear from Entre Nos HBO Latino. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm nice. waiting to move on top five for that because whoever wins that gets to have their own HBO special. And that's what Mark Vieira, who you guys interviewed. Yes. That's what he won last year. That's right. That's right. Yes, he was yeah. telling us that on the show. Yeah, that's how I met you guys. Yeah, yes. really funny. So, now, yeah. I, I he's say very funny too. He just he's very grounded. We're gonna start. We're gonna start but, doing our our own um, skits, but that's a really good idea to do skits because yes, I just recently yeah. came across um, my my cousin actually told told me about the YouTube channel, uh, the Real Bros of Simi Valley. That, that's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. If it's you ever check like, it out, like. That'd be awesome to do something like that. Like, well, I, yeah, yeah, but we're yeah, we definitely want to do more sketches. It's oh yeah, just, more sketches for sure. For oh sure. my god, yeah, sketches, yes. videos, movies, all of the above. But that's what we were talking about after we did the Kamala Harris sketch with to Target Battleground yeah. thing. We're like, we need to just do like two to three minute sketches. We just need to do them and just get them out there. That's it. Like, just get them out there because. Ya ustedes saben que yo soy loca. I have, I'm telling you, I've got <laughs> in the back, and I will dress him up if I have to, and he will go along with the flow, and he will crack you the hell up. He might be like, oh, you know, GQ stud, like, but you know, no, he is funny and funny. he's just keeping it low key right now. No, it's loco también. Trust me, it's <laughs> loco también. Yeah. Um... Yeah. But yeah, well, we're, we're gonna we're, definitely be doing that. And thank you, Lewis and Sam, for like. You know, it, 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 there's a time. Absolutely. For everything. Time is everything. Like, like we're like we always have a long list. You know me with my list, so it's mm -hmm. like we're yeah. it's definitely on our list to do for sure. But we go through that list quick. We we, we keep it moving. We keep it moving. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to mention something also about the audition thing. My dad actually sent me something from uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh. Um, the great actor, God rest his wow, soul. Okay. But, yeah, about a year ago or so, um, um, his words, he said, and it's a very good point, very good point what he says. So he says, really? the thing with auditioning is you already won. You get in there, yeah. job completed, done. You won, you got it, you're doing your thing. Yeah. You're doing what you love. You're doing your work. Yeah. You do it in front of somebody else. You're, you mm -hmm. you like you did it, good job. Anything else after that is icing on the cake. 
And when I say anything after that, that means if you get the job, that's just icing on the cake. But you already won once you sure. Yeah, that's why I get so pumped. Mm -hmm. There's an audition, I get crazy. I'm like, oh my God. It's, it's like, okay, a time to breathe for a second. They always tell you to take an hour, read the stuff. Take the Zen chill pill because now you're like super high. <laughs> <laughs> I got an audition. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get, you know. Yeah. I know he's just like, holy shit, two came in, and then you know we're like, oh my god. <laughs> and then like he has to audition. Like I have to audition. We're like scheduling. We're like, okay, how about you go first? You know your lines because they were shorter. I still need a little more time. I'll do my second. You know what I mean? Then we'll take turns. Yeah. Like yeah. Like it. <laughs> like, you, you. It's, such it's such a trip. And then when you see the person that like, got it and you didn't get it, and you're just like watching the show, and you're like, oh, what's my audition for? Yeah. But I swear to you, <laughs> you're just like, oh, I could see. I could see. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have. Yeah. No, that's what I was going for. I wouldn't have. How would I have fit that? <laughs> sure. No, absolutely. Of yeah, course. It. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Because there's something for, there's always room for everyone. Yes. Just, you know, it's just, you know, that's why you have to create your own stuff. Yes. So that's why, you know, when you do land that stuff, it's like, well, that was, that was meant for you. Yeah. And also when you create your stuff, like, like people see that and, and, and they, yeah, they get excited. They, they give, they see value within you. So they'll want you to be a part of what they have going on because they want to have a successful endeavor. And when they mm -hmm. see that, already have something that's of success and yeah. they of course want to want to work with you on that but you, you just you just have to do your thing when it comes to the auditioning a lot of times yeah. it doesn't come down to talent or skill level or if you nailed it or whatever a lot of times they have their reasons so maybe there's a reason of like oh they have their reasons because i know yeah. that i didn't get something because the writer's girlfriend got it no i'm gonna tell it like it is this is the show to do it I'm going to tell you, Go ahead. that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah. It literally, I, I know, I know the assistant director and she was just like, oh my God, we were all talking yeah. about it. It should have been you, but the writer came in like my girlfriend and yeah. they gave it to her. That, that's what happened. That happens, and, people. And that, definitely, happens. that definitely does happen, but it's important because to, and, and Jackie isn't, and neither am I, we're not bitter. No, no, it's no, the no. bitterness that will you gotta let it go. It's the bitterness that will destroy a career because what's important yes. is you that's the reality of it. It happens, um, people. So it's good to understand the realities of the business. And just like if you're a doctor, just like if you're an accountant, just like you're you're a realtor, if you get mm. super bent out of shape and pissed off and have a bad attitude because of these certain unfair realities of the business. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go anywhere. But if you right. if, if you understand the realities and the inner workings, and un, it's just called understanding the business that you're in, that you're a part of, mm -hmm. you can say, "Oh, okay, I understand that." It just, it just your knowledge base becomes better, and you know how to maneuver through future situations. Sure, or, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I would say to the actors, you know, like what we do, we just, we're like, okay, cool. And then we just come up with something creative yeah, and we that's, just shoot right. it. That's one of the things that inspires us also. Just shoot it. Because we're just, uh, we're competitive and we're just like, <laughs> it's all in and give us okay, well. It's a little bit, it's a little bit. Yeah, right. like, well, let's, let's learn. Let's something. write our own thing. Let's yeah, write let's it. <laughs> Listen, it's, we got all the lights, yeah. we got the camera, we got all the freaking like like equipment. So it's, it's inspiring. like yeah, because we're we're here we to just do it. This is what we do. That's awesome. We just do it. That's it. Just do it. Just do it, baby. Just do it. Do it. There you go. <laughs> do it differently. Well, Jackie, I saw that you posted up something um last week that you won an award. Yes, the actors fun. They they, well, they surprised me. They surprised me. They sent me this nice. email that I wanted to for like being kind and being part of the community. And I'm like, I'm like, wow, okay. I mean, like, I, I literally have been reaching out to so many people and I like to help the community. And I'm always like posting things for other people and the stories and this and that. And I don't know what's going on with Instagram, but they're kind of like, 
doing something weird because I was trying to post this and I think they changed the format. And I was I'll like, show what? You how to do it. Show yeah, me how yeah. to do it. Threw me off too. Threw me the yeah. hell off. But anyway, I kept posting in the stories. And so I-, I Thank you, Christian and Jackie. It's, so thank you, the Actors Fund. You know, you know, you you donate to the Actors Fund for other actors that don't have anything. There's some actors that even they don't they're not even getting unemployment. You know. Oh, what I mean? wow. So I thank you, Actors Fund, for like commending me and giving me yeah. this award. I was as you should. He, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. awesome. That is awesome. You want to be great in this business. I mean, this business is um, you have to be kind very people. different from a lot of businesses. But yes. then again, there's a lot of sim similarities. Since if you notice, I believe this one of the things that I, I know Jack and I we love about this business is it, 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 it encompasses all businesses. It has like all walks, all all, all walks, walks of life. life, all trades, all businesses under mm -hmm. one business making a movie and. Yeah, the entertainment. You know, there's everything. There's, there's under construction. One there's technology. There's, there's um. There's everything. There's cold calling. There's you name it. That's it's in this what business. it is. It's in this business, but yeah. so, but the similarity does that it has is it's human relations. It's how you. I love people. It, it's it's a team. It's yeah. um. It's the it's the energy that you put that you, that you get off get, that you give off, and. Uh, it's a community that you want to be a part of, of, of great other, of other artists and, yes. and people and giving off great positive energy and helping others out and just being respectful yeah. and uh, ju just having a good, you know, like we love helping going, people. letting the universe flow through you in a positive way and helping yeah. people. Yeah. It's, a, it's, important. it's an important it, it, thing. It really is important. You win yeah. if you do that. Yeah. You really do win if you do that. And we, we do what we do. It's not even to like, Get an award or get a you know a, a recognition of anything. It's like genuinely, we really love people and we really love helping people any way we can, like any way we can. Like we, it just takes a few seconds to do like these little things, absolutely. and we love doing it. We just absolutely love doing it. Right? Yeah, absolutely. He's got a big heart. This one right here. He's got a big That's heart. awesome. You yep. guys are amazing. You guys are incredible in the way you guys are. Really, really are. You guys are awesome. The <laughs> crazy Latino. <laughs> and, and going back to like another, we have a lot of. He can stay here all night. I'm telling. It's like on set. This is like being on set right now. We could be here all night. <laughs> the show is not that long. <laughs> so we have a lot of things that are that inspire us and one of the things that inspired me is um since the very be beginning of, of me making movies even the smaller movies <clears throat> one day they'll all be big ho hopefully very soon but um at, i always tell people you didn't mm -hmm. have to believe in me and what i was doing but for whatever reason you saw something within me yeah. to, to to be a part of what i had going on um and and like I want, and I'm inspired by each individual that that saw that within me, so I can in return pr be able to carve out an opportunity for them to be able to springboard their mm -hmm. career or their life or better their situation or uh, their family or loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. That's truly like that's our motto. Truthfully, yeah. That is our motto. If somehow we can help others as we're rising on up, it's just uh, we're very big on that. Very big on that. We yeah, love collaborating course. with people. We love helping people. Yeah, because yeah. truthfully, it's not it's not fun rising up alone. You want to no. you want to rise up with the people around you and all Absolutely. and everybody. Yeah, happy. yeah. And, 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 you can see that, like people, Ron Howard and Brian Grazier. Then too, they they came like you know they just like they, imagine is their production company, and they just do everything you know production wise together, and it's sure. just so powerful. Yeah, so powerful. It's great. And they to have, have great like team. a whole team, you know. Yeah, it's great. Richard, there's a question here. here for you um, that just popped up. Uh, the question is, are you able to talk about uh, the, the movie uh, called uh, Yasuki uh, Descendants? 
Ooh, he's intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I went in for an audition about a year and a half ago, and I got a part, not a big part, just in a few scenes. And we were all, um, I was supposed to shoot my scenes about eight months ago, right before this pandemic happened. Mm. And um, since the pandemic happened, I, I know a lot of, like, like a lot of other shows, they're on hold. Yeah. So um, I don't know the status. I, I know they shot several scenes uh, as oh, right. of right now. Um, Cal Calvert Davis is, is the director of that movie. And um, I don't know the current status. Uh, but like I said, I know he shot some scenes and edited some scene and, and he's working throughout the process. But as of oh, right gosh. now, yeah, it's, it's unfinished. But I imagine because yeah. Calvert Davis um, has some other stuff up on Amazon. So, but he's a filmmaker. He's gonna he's gonna follow through with it. And yeah, yeah, that that's what true filmmakers do. Um, we finish the job. We get it done. Yeah. Which Hell, it ain't stopping us. Yeah. We do know. we do do things very 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 carefully. I'm talking about like there is just a mm -hmm. COVID test every other day. It feels like, but yeah. we're keeping away from people. We're masking up. We're cleaning constantly sanitizing but yeah constantly, it's just yeah. that 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 film christian is not finished yet but okay. oh calvert well yeah because christian yeah, has yeah. the question right, right it's just not finished yet but finished yet. he's also going to be kicking some booty in that too <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's action yeah like like like, like uh, the ninth raider that one um small crew Small crew. Small crew. We all wear masks, sanitizing the whole yeah. thing. That's also action mm -hmm. as well. And then we we're working on shows, all the swab, swab the nose. Yes, yes. Masks. He uh, plays a real badass in the Ninth Raider. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's a fun project. We're I play one of the nuns, but I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> <laughs> we we're out there. We had the motorcycles. We had the stunts. It was in like the middle of nowhere it was freaking awesome it was like sort of uh the setting of this um the the, the, the uh a post-apocalyptic world but you know how las vegas that they're all about nice. their aliens but this particular place next to palm springs right outside is palm springs tucked away and we got a lead on it that there's a post-apocalyptic world out there so there's like all these art there's literally a museum all this art created but sort of in a post-apocalyptic type of way you know what would be um left over of the act aftermath but it and was there's some so people surreal. that live in this thing yeah. like this museum like area they it's live in the out middle there, of desert yeah. in like it's little so rvs surreal. and just like they're out there you know but we were shooting ninth we're grader <laughs> And we stopped for a second, and this old guy pulls up in his truck, and he's just like, oh, yeah. I know you folks ain't from around here. <laughs> and we were like, who the hell is this guy? And he's just like telling us about this post-apocalyptic museum that we must see. Yeah, it's totally and we're like, like, it was meant to be. We were like, oh, my God, like, we got to tell Dallas. Like, yeah. because we're filming a post-apocalyptic movie, how weird that this guy just came up to us mm -hmm. telling us about this place and then we yeah. winded up shooting also yes. at that location yeah, nice. so like, what very weird that's very weird. That, uh, serendipity power. like it's just yeah, like the universe power. was bringing mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's just wild the universe sure. lord saying hey and, and we rolled with it and it turned out great and we were staying in the i love lucy motel which was the oh, hotel <laughs> what did I say, Motel? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> motel, sorry. We had a pool and everything. We had a pool and everything. Oh God forbid, we're in a motel. We're in I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 motel, out. motels are great. <laughs> no, no, I, I, but, but, but it yeah. was I love Lucy. I love Lucy. The theme whole motel. theme was I love Lucy and Desi Arnaz, and I was like, oh, that inspired me. I was just like, oh my God, that's my, that's my favorite. I'm like, that's it. And I'm gonna be I love Lucy, but the Latina, and yeah. you'll be Desi Arnaz, but the white boy, and then we're gonna do sketches. Yeah, <laughs> that would be yeah, funny. That so would be hysterical. Oh my god, that would be so funny. Yeah, it, like, as, as we were shooting, 
yeah. Dallas, Dallas put us up there. But a couple months before that, though, he put us up. Um, I, I, I went up. It was like an hour outside of San Diego. It was, it was a motel, but it was freaking awesome. It was like this like eight um, eight room motel. <laughs> and, but before that, I was just like, dude, I'll sleep in the tent. I just want to get there, get there on, on set and embody the the, the character, the, the moments and, and the environment and stuff. He's just like, all right, well, we'll like, let me get you a room up there. Actually, you don't have to pitch a tent. Maybe we'll get you know, beaten by a scorpion. We don't want that. So I'm like, yeah. so I'm like, all right, cool. But he, he says, you'll see coyotes walking around. I would have probably been a little more alarmed, you know. Uh, not crazy like i'm my mind goes places and i'm an open-minded type guy but he prepped me for like well if you come in here because it was a you're, it's a nudist colony so there's going to be a oh bunch my of god I that. so i got there. <laughs> there he is facetiming me about the nudist colony and then, i'm like there's a couple walking <laughs> naked and then because it was a, <laughs> there was this motel then it was like a trailer park and that's where that's where we were stationed and we were shooting like not too far out from there, but they had their own little community out there. And um, so I'm like, all right, that's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking but about. We're out I'm there. like, was there any hot stars. chicks walking around? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna freaking ask that question. Come on. You know, we're going to ask that question. <laughs> he, he was like, no, they were all old. No, they were all old. I'll never get it, it out of him. <laughs> Time, yeah. Wait, you're right. <laughs> so that was my, oh, my introduction. <laughs> so that was my introduction oh, yeah. to uh, the nudist colony <laughs> and the nudist Oh colony. my god! <laughs> yeah, you find but, some crazy stuff in California. I'm telling you. You know what's right interesting now. though is that's where that's where uh, I had the opportunity to meet um, <laughs> James H H Hubert. I believe how you pronounce his name, but. If he butchers you, everybody's last name. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if, 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 uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, yeah. Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. James was in the cast of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and uh, you remember the guy who who stabbed the tire of Brad Pitt. That's the guy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I met him. He's in the movie also. He was the ninth Yeah. And so that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's we have some heavy hitters working on the ninth raider, and, yeah. and, and, and we, Alice is implementing yeah. a new the the new blockchain technology and the way yes. of marketing and stuff. And yeah. it's all about, you have a great product. There's a lot of great products out there, yeah. but how do how do you strategically market it, even <laughs> on a budget, so the whole masses can uh, like see? Sure. No, of course. Yeah. What are you saying? No, 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 no. I'm stuck on the new cuddle of Ponyo. That's so good. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, let's go check it out. <laughs> I, I said, yeah, well, we ought to, Jack and I ought to, ought to vacation up there sometime. He's like, oh, as soon as yeah, things are As soon as things are <laughs> COVID and all. COVID and all. But, but it's given us an opportunity, too, to like brainstorm different, like, like different things to do out, out after COVID because I feel like a lot of people now are like taking the time to really appreciate and not take for granted the things that we for most of our most lives have the opportunity to do. But now it's like, um, yeah, you, we just appreciate more and just, I, I know we we always appreciate things, but I know other people out there like like you're always on the go, always on the go, always on the go, always on the go. But when things stop a little bit, you, you get to self reflect and, yes. and, and, and and learn who you are a little more and others and have that appreciation. Mm -hmm. I know when things open up, like like I think it's important also um, to to be in Producers Guild of America, even if you're a writer. Like, yes. Sure. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Guild of America, the Directors Guild of America, um, Screen Actors Guild, uh, yeah, WGA, they have these events. So it's like when things open up and you go to the red carpet premieres yeah. and stuff. They're having events network, online. Network, 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 network. They're having Everybody events online. Is, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. There's the Zoom, Zoom baby, Zoom everywhere. Yeah. It's all the way Zoom. A lot of Zooms. Well, American Film Market was on Zoom. That was year. on Zoom. Because usually it's in Santa Santa Monica at the American Film Market here in America. It's all every year in Santa Monica. That's it's how literally we found like our, the Cannes 
in France. Yeah. And it's here in Santa Monica. We normally never miss it. You make so much. Yeah, so many great contacts, and that's where all the the companies are there. They, um, each company they have their library of films that they're selling to the potential buyers that come from all across the world to Lionsgate. Real deal. All you make deals. People, yeah, they're all there. Universal Studios, Paramount, they're all there seeking. Eight twenty four. You know how many times we put our business card eight twenty four. I'm like, dudes, where are you? Nobody opens yeah. the door. Yeah, they're like hiding. That's the biggest company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They know who we are. Eight twenty four. We put the business card. Yeah. Universal. <laughs> those reps go there to, to buy the content, but yeah. um, then there's eight twenty four. Mm. All, all the companies that are there that are. Acquiring some sometimes they're acquiring also um, content. just they, they want to sell their content you know they want to make deals but that's really cool that that um, American film market they found a way to be able to still keep the action going online on Zoom they yeah because we so thought it was going to be canceled completely year. but it was not canceled completely it was uh, it's not it was online yeah. So it's like it they, cool. they, have, they created like a virtual campus. So it's like, oh, here's the networking pavilion. Here's, here's <laughs> so the cool. conference. Here's this, here's that. So, yeah. and then there's little chat boxes on the side, like what what's going on right now. Right. So there's mm -hmm. the, to network and, and market and sure. like the tape. There's like tables that you can network with. And if you click on the table, <laughs> your face comes up. So next thing you know, ah, like crazy? your, your, your <laughs> video. Um, conferencing like seven people at a time, just talking or whatever. Yeah. So connecting, and I think I think this whole the, it's different, but th this is really efficient, by the Very way. Very efficient. Always like Zoom. I'm and, telling you, what's come out of this COVID still connect. pandemic mm -hmm. is like it's made us realize that we, we don't need to get too too crazy. We can do things and get it done and be efficient and connect and still be efficient. We don't have to like pollute the planet with so much driving around like crazy people. Yeah. We can like stay a little bit more centered and and enjoy our everyday a little bit more. You know, like it's picked up a little bit more again, and it's like, oh wow, we gotta be like we gotta like run around again. But it's like definitely way more relaxed. Yeah. Than before the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Even during this pandemic, we've all had the ability to still like go outside and still do a lot of the things yeah. that, that we've always been able to do. It's not Yeah, you just do it carefully, you know what I mean? You just take care. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. you take walks, you exercise, you a little the pool here was open for that. a while, but sure. then it, it's been closed. So. It's been, that, yeah, that that's not yeah. That the pool's closed. We have a lot of friends that surf and stuff. I have not I, I have surfed, yeah, but I have not things, surfed great. since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You have it, but you should, because he looks like a surfer boy. So. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought he was like a pro surfer. I was like, he's just like, Man. <laughs> yeah. Because we're from California, where we all surf, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she thought. That's true. <laughs> so, that's good. That's yeah. a good reputation to have, you know, sunny California and a bunch of surfers. Yeah, right. There's <laughs> over here. Yeah. I, I, I love the different culture. You know? Yes. Um, what would you like to? What would you like to tell all the viewers here, um, uh, as far as what you guys, um, your upcoming stuff that you guys are doing, and any any final thoughts or any. Final message you want to give to all the viewers that are watching? Uh, okay, I would say go to our Instagram because you're gonna. We try to update people on what we're doing, and it all the time. Like Instagram is like definitely our favorite. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're on Facebook, but I don't know. It's like disappeared for us because we're hardly on it. So Instagram for sure, and the sure sure fact that when you go to IMDB and you're part of IMDB Pro, for sure you're you're gonna see our projects get put up there. And I would say people, stay kind, be loving to one another, stay positive, stay creative, get into a class. If you're not in a, in a class, um, 
And even if, if you're not in a class and you can't really afford a class, there's a lot of live Instagrams with a lot of different classes and they give a lot of tips. Casting directors are giving tips away left and right. And it's all on their Instagram. Like follow these casting directors and you're going to see the trail of things from the beginning of the pandemic and you'll get caught up. So, and love one another and happy holidays. And Absolutely. Yeah. Um, like Jackie was saying, feel free to message us and follow us on our Instagram pages mm -hmm. and um, oxfilms.us is the company website in uh, January, February. Check out all the movies that, that we have to offer. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I would say I'll always learn every day. Have, have a plan. Mm -hmm. have, a, have, a, have a purpose when you get up. And, um, <laughs> and have goals. And what's so important, though, because there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be certain things and different variables. But always have a good attitude. That I feel is the most important because it could be a very negative situation, but if you have a good attitude about it, you can you can um, you 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 can get the best out of it. You know, you can yeah. make it. The, you can say bye. You can bring a positive out of it, but yeah, true people will respect. You know, yeah. be positive. Learn. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, YouTube. There's so many great documentaries. We're on YouTube. <laughs> How-tos and like interviews and stuff. Like it's just freaking do push-ups, work out, do yes. burpees, eat your greens. The exercise, world is your oyster, mi amor. Grow. So baila Latin music. That's what's going to keep you super healthy. Right, puppy? And talking yeah. about that, there was a request to see you guys dance some salsa, some merengue as the show ends. <laughs> No. Somebody put that request up. I saw that earlier. So you guys are stuck. Gotta dance. There you go. Oh wow, he's got the spin down. Okay, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> he needs to be in the heights, the next in the heights. <laughs> nice, guys. Nice. 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 But, guys, thank you so much yeah, for tonight. Really this was that. amazing. Absolutely. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm so glad that we we got to connect more than anything else. Um, and you know what? Going forward, uh, I look forward. So does Lewis. Uh, you know, uh, to working with you guys, doing future projects, and and discussing things, and and just opening up our minds, man, and just having some fun in the world, man. At the end of the day, yeah. definitely. I'm, I'm look. I, I definitely want to do, um, do some some Latin. You know, kids. You, you know, need to take some Latin dance classes. That's what you need no, to take. I don't, no, no, no. You can't dance <laughs> classes, Papa. All right, let's clear that up right now. I'll put it out there. Louis cannot <laughs> dance salsa. I, on the other hand, can. We're not gonna go there, though. Man. And you guys are gonna write the sketches, and we're gonna make sure that we do them. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Um, I actually All right. the process of doing a short film and, and to, to uh, showcase some of Jackie's dancing. It's gonna be great. Ooh, awesome. Uh, okay. More of her vocals. <laughs> and check out awesome. our video too. It's on it, well if you also go to the Ox Films YouTube. YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm I'm trying yeah. to we're trying to build up the channel and stuff yeah. and tell people about it and uh, you can see all of our stuff on there. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna upload probably about a good forty to fifty videos in the next couple of months. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Awesome. And go to my Jackie Nova awesome. YouTube as well. Yeah, Jackie Nova YouTube. <laughs> Heck yeah. You can see her, her, her stand up. She's awesome with the stand up. <laughs> Very funny. That's yeah. why we got to do the Positive sketches, Bobby. Yeah, we'll do some sketches. Yeah. 
I'll get wild up in here, Bobby. I'll get wild. And he'll be like, why, Dio mio, why? Why is she so crazy? You see? It's That's a chromosome that all Latinos possess. For some reason, we're stuck with it. We're just energetic 24-7. That's just what it is. 24-7! come down to it. <laughs> 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 Oh my God, this is hysterical. <laughs> what a great time we have with you guys tonight, man. Really, really. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. Our pleasure, man, for sure. <laughs> guys, this is the show. Once again, thank, a very special thanks to Jackie and to Richard. You guys are truly amazing. And I hope everyone here had a blast. And, you know, stay tuned for more. Yeah, yeah, baby. Thank you very Coming much. Coming at you, y'all. It's two crazy Latinos. Bam! And we'll see you next week. <laughs>